Hi everyone, after the last video, let's do this DC to single phase AC converter question together. So in this question, we are design a DC to single phase AC converter so that the DC input is 380 volts and the AC output is 220 RMS and weighs a frequency of 50 Hz. The first question asks us to use modify square wave to convert the DC to AC. To define the phase shift of phi, we use this equation so that we can get our phase shift is 0.3352 pi and we can build it in our simulink. To make things easy, I use same age bridge for all the ways we are going to use in this video. So uh, you might need to have a very good look of my age bridge. My A1, B1, A2, B2 is the signals that apply to each MOSFET. In the switching pulse block, uh, we can see that uh, I first use a pulse generator to generate a pulse width of 50% and this period is 1 over 50 Hz. And here is the phase shift. As we just calculate, I directly use the value we calculate here. And by times this gain is to convert this value into radian per second and apply to a variable time delay we can have our control signal on each switches so this signal is applied to a1 and a2 and the delay signal is applied to a2 and b1 we can use the THD block in library browser THD THD block to do our total harmonic distortion calculation and we use RMS block to do our RMS calculation so let's run this simulation model we can see that this is our output voltage and after the distortion calculation we can see the THD value is 80% which is very high and the RMS value of our output voltage is around 220 so this is kind of a good design let's move on to our second question the second question is ask us to use BPWM modulation method ways the um, MF value is 100. So uh, we already have our MF value is 100. We need to calculate our, our MA value. We use uh, VM divided on V in is 0 0.8188. We already have our LC filter value so we don't need to design them l is equal to 15 millihenry and c is equal to 5.6 microfarads in our simulation again this is a same h bridge and with an inductor and capacitor and a load bpwm is generated by using a sine wave block and a repeating sequence block so let's first have a look of our sine wave block i put the ma value here and this frequency is just convert the 50 hertz to radian per second and because there is no block in MATLAB that can generate triangle wave from minus 1 to 1, so I use this repeating sequence block to generate a triangle wave wave amplitude from minus 1 to 1. And this is the frequency. I just use MF100 times FR 50 Hz and also because i use a uh, full time period so times four it's twenty thousand by using a comparator 
we can have our control signal on A1 and B2 and by using a NOT operator we can apply this signal on to A2 and B1. Let's run this model. We can see that compared to modified square wave, this output is more like a sine wave. But if we go closer, we still can see the ripples on the sine wave. Um, and we also can find our THD value is around um, 0.1%. RMS value is also around 220. Let's move on to the third question. The third question is ask us to use UPWL modulation methods with the same MF value and the same uh, filter. So uh, to generate UPWM pulse, again this is the same H bridge, same filter. Here I use two complementary sine wave. Uh, again the MA, MA value is here, frequency is here. Another one is just put a minus before your MA value and you can have your two reference signal. This is your carrier signal. Um, we now have 5000 kilohertz. Let's run this model. We can see the output is even smooth than the BPWM and our THD value is almost zero. Uh, and also the output is around 220. Doing further FFT analysis, we can use the um, FFT analysis function here. To use this block, first thing you need to do is you need to set your scope block. So open your scope, find configuration properties, go into the logging window and click this log data to workspace. Uh, choose the save format to structure waste time. When you do all this, when you run this simulation model, you will find your results will go directly to the workspace. After this, you can double click and click tools and click FFT analysis. You can do the FFT analysis. But this is only work in MATLAB version that older than 2020. If you are using a MATLAB version 2020, you need to do one step more because when you do all this, after you run this model, you will find there is only one out at your workspace, but we need this scope data in our workspace. So what you need to do is you need first pull out this scope data give the value to a variable uh, what we do is upwm data equals to this and when you run this this value is appear in your workspace so after you do that you can double click this go to tools go to fft analysis and you can find your waveform otherwise you will keep finding this thing is empty. Okay, so when we go into this FFT analysis, we do some settings first. First, don't use the first cycle because there's oscillation in the first cycle. So choose the third cycle. Now I choose the third cycle and the number of cycle is one. Our fundamental frequency is 50 and let's do the maximum uh, frequency to 3000. So after the calculation, we can find the THD value is 0.39%. Okay, so this is all about the video. Thank you for watching this video. We will see you in next video.